Welcome. The Assistant Professor Series is ready to introduce you to the magic of cells. This video is divided into three lessons. Lesson one answers the question, what is a cell? Lesson two explores the parts of an animal cell. And lesson three examines the diversity of cells. This building is made from many individual blocks. Just as these blocks are the fundamental units of the building, cells are the building blocks of life. From the tiniest blade of grass to the tallest tree, from the algae that turns the pond green to the fisherman standing on its banks, every living thing on earth is composed of cells. Cells are the smallest units that exhibit the three basic characteristics of life. The first characteristic is reproduction. Every life form has the ability to reproduce. And like any parent, cells pass on their characteristics to the next generation. The second characteristic of life is the ability to react to stimuli. This didinium cell is reacting to the prospect of a good meal. The third characteristic of life is homeostasis. Homeostasis is the ability to maintain a stable internal environment. All organisms, like this amoeba, must control and balance their internal chemistry, regardless of changes in their surroundings. There are two fundamental types of cells. The first type is the prokaryotes. Prokaryotic cells are commonly called bacteria. Bacterial cells come in three shapes, spiral, rod, and spherical. These cells have been magnified 40,000 times by an electron microscope. Bacterial cells are more primitive and generally smaller than other cells. All prokaryotes are single-celled life forms. The second cell type is the eukaryotes. The most familiar eukaryotic cells are plant and animal cells. Unlike the more primitive prokaryotic cells, eukaryotic cells have a highly organized and complex internal structure. Some eukaryotes are single-celled life forms. These organisms are made up of just one cell. Other eukaryotes belong to multicellular organisms. Multicellular organisms like these life forms are made up of many different cells. Each cell in these multicellular organisms belongs to a specialized group or tissue that has a particular function. For example, in humans, red blood cells transport oxygen to all parts of the body. Muscle cells aid in movement. Skin cells provide protection from the environment and nerve cells transmit messages throughout the body. In fact, each person is a community of about 100 trillion cells. The cell is the smallest living unit. There are two fundamental types of cells, prokaryotes, and eukaryotes. All prokaryotes and many eukaryotes are single-celled organisms. Other eukaryotic cells form multicellular organisms. An animal cell has three distinct sections. The membrane, the cytoplasm, and the nucleus. The cell membrane is an ultra-thin layer that surrounds the cell. The membrane has two important functions, identification and connection. The membrane of every living cell has its own set of identity molecules, which extend from the membrane surface. These molecules determine how a cell interacts with its environment and with other cells. The second function of the membrane is to connect the cell with its environment. The cell membrane is semi-permeable. 
which means that only certain substances are allowed to pass in and out of the cell. Food and other necessary chemicals enter the cell. Waste and manufactured substances exit the cell. The semi-permeable membrane allows the cell to maintain homeostasis. Inside the tiny magical world of the cell, the basic functions of life occur. We are floating in the cytoplasm of the cell. The cytoplasm includes all the cellular material inside the membrane, except the nucleus. There are three major functions carried out in the cytoplasm. Food is converted into energy. Energy is stored to be used by the cell in the future. And finally, many substances are manufactured for the cell's use or for export to other cells. The cytoplasm is mostly water, but it also contains an abundance of chemicals, such as sugars and proteins. In addition, the cytoplasm is home to distinctive structures called organelles. The word organelle means little organ. People have organs like a heart and a brain which perform specific functions that benefit the whole body. In the same way, cells have organelles which perform specific functions for the benefit of the entire cell. Some of the major organelles found in a cell include the cytoskeleton, endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, Golgi bodies, vesicles, lysosomes, mitochondria, and the nucleus. The ultra-thin fibers of the cytoskeleton are constantly forming and dissolving. The cytoskeleton provides support for the cell, like a scaffolding that supports a building. This is the endoplasmic reticulum, an elaborate maze with many channels and compartments. This organelle helps create complex molecules out of simple molecules. Scattered like pepper on the external walls of the endoplasmic reticulum are the organelles known as ribosomes. Ribosomes manufacture proteins. These proteins travel along the internal channels of the endoplasmic reticulum to one of the Golgi bodies. Collectively, the Golgi bodies in a cell are referred to as the Golgi apparatus. Golgi bodies collect, modify, and package the substances manufactured by the cell. Golgi bodies consist of a number of layers. On the rim of each layer, bubble-like packages form. Packages produced by lower layers will pinch off, migrate to, and fuse with the next higher layer. Within each layer, chemical alterations occur. Packages formed at the top layer are called vesicles. Vesicles store and transport materials. These tiny cellular submarines travel through the cytoplasm carrying protein, food molecules, digestive enzymes, or other cargo to various destinations. Vesicles may also journey to the cell membrane where their contents are exported to other cells. Vesicles that contain digestive enzymes are special organelles called lysosomes. Lysosomes are capable of breaking down and digesting almost every molecule in the cell. These organelles are scavengers digesting worn-out cellular material and recycling it back into the cellular environment. Mitochondria are sausage-shaped organelles. Often called little factories or power plants, mitochondria help supply energy to the cell. A single animal cell can contain up to 1,000 mitochondria. The largest organelle, the nucleus, 
is often a round or oval-shaped structure. The nucleus has its own membrane which resembles a cratered moon. This membrane is called the nuclear envelope. The craters are nuclear pores which act as gatekeepers, controlling access to material and messages moving in and out of the nucleus. The nucleus is like a vault. Inside, there is an extraordinary molecule that directs the operations of the organelles and the reproduction of the cell. This miraculous molecule is deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA. Every cell contains DNA. An animal cell has three distinct sections. The membrane, the cytoplasm, and the nucleus. The cell membrane has two important functions. The membrane determines how a cell interacts with its environment and with other cells, and connects the cell to the outside environment. There are three functions carried out in the cytoplasm. Food is converted into energy. Energy is stored for future use. And many substances are manufactured. The cell contains many organelles, including the cytoskeleton, endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, Golgi bodies, vesicles, lysosomes, mitochondria, and the nucleus. From inside the nucleus, the DNA molecule directs the operations of the organelles and the reproduction of the cell. In these photographs, created by an electron microscope, parts of an animal cell have been magnified 40,000 times. This is a section of the cell membrane. Fibers of the cytoskeleton are clearly visible. Here we see the exterior wall of the endoplasmic reticulum covered with ribosomes. We can also identify the maze of interior channels which transports proteins and other molecules to the Golgi bodies. We can identify a Golgi body, a vesicle, a mitochondrion, and the nucleus. Under the electron microscope, we see that plant cells contain several additional structures not generally found in animal cells. For example, many plant cells have a cell wall. The cell wall is a rigid layer that surrounds the membrane and provides support. The larger white area is called a vacuole. Vacuoles store material for use in the cell. These organelles are called chloroplasts. Chloroplasts allow plants to convert sunlight into food and energy, a process known as photosynthesis. Our planet is home to millions of unique and amazing organisms. The extraordinary diversity of life on this world is reflected in the world of cells. Cells vary in shape, size, and structure. This is a small sample of the seemingly endless variety of shapes found in the world of cells. Cells range in size from this tiny bacterial cell, magnified 40,000 times, to this acetabularium, a type of marine algae cell which can measure several centimeters tall. 
all life forms have developed adaptations that help them survive. For instance, turtles have hard exterior shells which provide protection. Similarly, these cells called radiolaria also have a protective shield. These diatoms produce a shell-like armor of opaline silica. Some survival adaptations give organisms the advantage of mobility. For example, fish have developed fins which allow them to move through water. Blepharisma cells propel themselves by waving tiny hair-like projections called cilia. This euglena can travel by whipping a long thread-like organelle called a flagellum. There is a wonderful simplicity within the vast diversity of life. For example, millions of different types of plants are made up of a few remarkably similar cell groups. This tree and these flowers appear very different. However, there is no significant difference in their root tip cells. Even the leaf cells of each plant look alike. This pattern also appears in the cell groups that compose different animals. There is no significant difference in these muscle cells even though they belong to different animals. The liver cells of animals are also similar. This pattern of similarity is evident in every cell group, including red blood cells, bone cells, and many others. The cell groups of the multicellular organisms we have seen are similar because they have the same functions. Whether they belong to rabbits, humans, or birds, red blood cells perform the same task. They transport oxygen throughout the body. The cell is the smallest living unit. All life forms are either single-celled or formed by a community of cells. There are two fundamental types of cells, prokaryotes and eukaryotes. An animal cell has three sections, the membrane, the cytoplasm, and the nucleus. Eukaryotic cells contain organelles, including the cytoskeleton, endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, Golgi bodies, vesicles, lysosomes, mitochondria, and the nucleus. Plant cells have cell walls, vacuoles, and chloroplasts, structures not usually found in animal cells. Cells vary in size, shape, and structure. In addition to the exquisite beauty of single-celled organisms, Earth is populated by a multitude of plants and animals each and every one constructed of cells. The next time you pass by a lake, a stream, or even a puddle, take a moment to stop and look carefully. You may see the magic of cells in its reflection.